HID has long been the undisputed champion when it comes to getting the most out of your headlights in terms of brightness and functionality. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install HID low and high beams in your 09 to 18 Ram. So let's get started. The first step in taking the front of your truck apart is pulling this black plastic cover off. And there are six plastic push pins that you can get under with your fingers or using a pry tool, pop them up. And all we're trying to do is expose the hardware that holds this grill on. With all those removed, you can actually keep them right in the cover so that they don't disappear on you. Set the cover off to the side. Now you've got four 10 millimeter bolts to remove, starting with this one. Now the bolts on the outside are threaded into plastic and that bolt looks a little bit different thread wise. Make sure you put the bolts in the right spot when you reassemble this thing. Last thing you wanna do is take this coarse thread plastic bolt and put it into your metal cross member. It's not gonna work out well. Set the bolts to the side. Now we can pull the grill off. And if this is the first time the grill's been off on your truck, it's gonna be a little tight. Grab each side like this and just pull it straight toward you like so. Now we've got two 10 millimeter bolts holding the headlight in. We've got one right here and we've got one right down here. You can get at those with a ratchet or an impact, whatever you've got on hand. Top one and the bottom one. Set those off to the side. We've almost got the headlight out of the truck now. We need to go down to the wheel well, pull a little access panel, and reach up and there's a little plastic tab that you need to push up to remove the headlight. So, coming in from down here, take your pry tool and get under the center of this little push clip. And remove it like so. At this point you can reach in, there's a white plastic tab and just push up on it. It's hard to show it on film, but it is there, and it's not too hard to find. We can finally pull the headlight out of the truck. Grab onto it with your left hand, like right here, and just pull it toward you. Go ahead and pull the headlight toward you a little bit so you can see what you're working with. Push in on the tab for the turn signal and remove it. And pull out on this little gray connector here press down and disconnect that. Now we can take the whole headlight out of the vehicle and over to the bench so we can install our headlights. So we've got our headlight removed from our 2017 Ram and just to reiterate, this information is gonna be the same from 09 to 2018. So thank you Ram for that. Now, the first step is pull the dust cover off your low beam. And if you reach inside here, you can twist the bulb counterclockwise. It's got a little bit of a harness here so you can unplug it outside of the headlight. And what we're gonna end up doing here is we're gonna grab our H11 low beam bulbs from GTR Lighting. So I've got our bulbs out of the box and I've got a drill with a unibit here. This is the easiest and safest way, in my opinion, to drill this hole. We're gonna drill it out to between seven eighths and one inch uh, as far as diameter goes. So start right in the middle of the dust cover Now my Unibit left a little bit of excess plastic in the inside here. I'm just gonna trim that up with a razor blade, clean it up real nice. If you leave anything like that behind, it's gonna make installing the grommet just a little bit harder. Now in the past, if you watched any of our older HID videos, uh, you remember that we used to have to take a pick tool, deep in these connectors, remove the little locking tabs, take it all apart, pass it through this, and then reassemble it on the other side. It's kind of annoying. With these new GTR lighting bulbs and these new GTR lighting harnesses, that's not the case anymore. They've made it a lot easier. If you drill this out to between seven eighths and one inch, uh, seven eighths is a little bit tighter fit for the grommet, so I prefer to stay as close to seven eighths as possible, but going up to one inch makes it a little bit easier. Pass your wiring through, no need to deep in anymore. I love that. 
as a former full-time installer, I absolutely love that. And for the guy at home doing DIY work that's just trying to get this thing done, this saves you a lot of effort. Pass the grommet through. And now we're just gonna tuck it into the dust cap here. These grommets work really well to seal out any moisture, any dust, debris, water, you know, go through a touchless car wash. Uh, you don't want any moisture building up in there too bad. On the topic of moisture, uh, a lot of new vehicles, even from the factory, take them through a touchless car wash in the right conditions if it's freezing cold out. Right now it's like eight below zero outside here. We're in Northern Minnesota. If you took it through a car wash today and pulled your truck out from there, you're gonna have a little bit of moisture built up in your headlight, it's condensation, it'll go away on its own. These things are vented, they'll relieve that. But what you don't want is standing water. And by not running a dust cover or drilling a massive hole in the backside, it's a little bit easier to get that. Not something you want. So as you can see, the grommet's installed properly. We've got our dust cover here. Plug the bulb in like so. And if you'll notice, I've left this protective clear hard plastic thing on the bulb this whole time. Last thing you want to do is bang it around a dirty workstation and contaminate the bulb. That can cause them to fail prematurely. GTR lighting includes a little alcohol swab in the container. It is always highly recommended to clean these bulbs up just before you install them in the headlight. Don't clean them up and then drill the hole and touch them with your fingers and then put them in. Do like I've done wait until the last possible minute, clean the bulb up, and install it in the headlight. Tuck your wiring in, twist your dust cover into place. Look at that, it's like it came with it from the factory. Now, the high beam is the exact same process, but one thing I wanna show you guys before we get to that, what a lot of people end up doing on these Ram trucks is instead of running HID low beam and HID high beam, they'll do an HID low beam for the maximum possible brightness because the low beam's always on. And then they'll do an LED headlight bulb in the high beam because the thing about HID is when you turn it on, it ignites the gas in the bulb and it takes three seconds, sometimes more, sometimes less to reach its maximum brightness. You can see why that might be a problem if you're driving and you encounter tra uh, traffic often is you'll see some headlights coming toward you. You have to shut your high beams off. When you turn them back on, they gotta warm up. By the time they've warmed up, warmed up, you see traffic coming again around the corner and you gotta shut them back down. It's really annoying. LEDs are instant on, instant off, and LEDs have come so far lately that they're almost as bright as HIDs when it comes to the high beams. So most people run something like this Supernova Perfect Fit bulb. If you wanted to go that route, we've got it as a vehicle specific kit for these rams. Remove the dust cover, disconnect the harness, pull the bulb out. Here's a little side by side for you guys. You can see why they might call it the perfect fit. It doesn't have any fans, any extra wires. It looks just like a factory halogen bulb. The only difference is it's significantly brighter. To install this, I've already showed you HID. This is how much easier the LED bulb is. Plug it in, twist it in place, dust cover in. That's all there is to it. So you can see why a lot of people would do that in high beam. Can you do HID and high beam? Absolutely. And if you don't encounter traffic often, or you don't have to shut your high beams off a lot, maybe you live in some deserted area where you can just run down the road as long as you want with high beams on, HID is a really, really good option because it has the maximum possible brightness. If you want them to turn on and off instantly, LED is the way to go. So I wanted to show you what we used to sell for this truck versus what we've got today. This is a smart PWM ballast from GTR Lighting. It's about as thick a little less thick than a playing card deck, a uh, little thicker than your cell phone. And look at this. This was the only ballast that used to work on these rams. You used to run one of these. Sometimes you'd need an additional harness. Look at the difference there in size. Not only that, but these new ballasts come with a double-sided tape mounting solution. So you can just stick this thing anywhere, which on these rams, it's pretty tight back there. Finding a place to hang this with a zip tie or screw it to the frame was pretty difficult. So the new fifth generation ballast saves a lot of energy, a lot of effort. It's a lot quicker to install. Just so you guys know, these ballasts come with double-sided tape in the box. Some people prefer to screw it to a piece of metal or uh, some kind of support. I prefer to double-sided tape them. So just peel the sticky back off, 
throw it on there. You can even use the alcohol swab from your GTR lighting bulb kit to clean up the vehicle if you have to, to get this to mount nicely. So the last step in installing your HID kit is mounting your ballast. I've installed the double-sided tape, I've pulled the red backing off, and all you have to do, honestly on these rams, the best place to put this is on the inside of this brace. It's flat, it's out of the way, plenty of room if you do low beam and high beam HID ballast. You can do one up top and one down low, and your connectors still have a ton of length to reach out to your headlight. When you go to install it, bring your headlight to the truck, and you just plug it in like so. It's a nice tight fit. And there it is. Those are the connections you need to make. Your HID system should now work just fine. Plug the rest of your headlight in and test it in the vehicle and make sure it all works. So I showed you guys where to mount the ballast, how the ballast plugs in, and everything like that. What I'm gonna do instead of just telling you about LED versus HID in the high beam, is I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna install HID in the high beam real quick, pull the other side out, do that too. We're gonna head over to our studio and I'm gonna show you guys what the low beam looks like compared to stock, and also what the high beam looks like compared to stock, as well as compared to the LED option, and let you decide what you want for your truck. We've got our RAM pulled in the studio now, and as you can see, these low beams aren't that great. This came out at 310 lux, which lux is your usable light output firing down the road. 310, honestly, we've seen that with some fog lights. It's not tremendous. Let's see what the 55 watt HID kit does in the low beam. As you can see, the 55 watt low beam kit is a tremendous upgrade over stock. This came in at 1,910 lux, which compared to 310, that's an insane upgrade. That is over six times brighter than stock and a beautiful, beautiful beam pattern. We don't have a ton of glare up above the hot spots. We've still got both our left and right hot spots. Glares is the biggest concern people have when it comes to these trucks. And honestly, this just imitates the stock beam pattern, but so much brighter. Now let's see what our high beam stock looks like. As you can see, the high beam, not bad. It's actually a pretty decently bright high beam. It's 850 lux, which out of a stock truck is okay. We've got a tight hot spot on the left and right. Let's see if we can brighten that up a little bit with the 55 watt HID kit. Now, as you can see, the 55 watt HID kit is significantly brighter. This came in at 4,920 lux, which we had to, we had to measure this twice because that's just an insane upgrade. It's almost four times brighter. Stock was 850 in the high beam to 4920. That's insane. If you're looking for the best high beam possible for your Ram, this is what you need. We've been testing headlight bulbs for over 10 years, and we've never had anything as bright as what you just saw in our studio. Over 4,000 lux is insane in a high beam in this truck, and it's gonna light up everything you could possibly wanna see at night, driving down even the worst dirt roads. If you need anything else for your Ram 1500, 2500, 3500, maybe you've got a Ford F-150 in the driveway too, we've got you covered. Visit our website, headlightrevolution.com, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Headlight Revolution. Thanks for watching.